do you know that forgiveness is forgiving each person their part, including yourself, your own? Do you know that forgiveness transforms into acceptance before we are able to truly live our lives? Do you know that you can heal an entire chunk of your past just with this realization? Thank you for joining me. My name is Barney and I am the Tarot Tattler. Thank you for your shares, your likes, your comments and your subscriptions. Taurus, I'm getting ready to dive right into today's tackle. There you have it. And your first card out, Taurus. The devil. Here's that hyperfocus. Hoping to be able to accumulate your energy and focus it on what it is you want to achieve. Wow. Wanting to be focused on your soul path, Taurus. Now, we could be talking about a choice. We could be talking about a special type of love, Taurus. These are two individuals that have gone within, that have examined themselves closely enough to understand that they are both good and bad. And once you are able to accept it within yourself, being able to extend it to someone else, Taurus, with the Three of Wands in your mind space. This is watching your ships come in. This is watching your ships come in in terms of your soul part, Taurus. And in your fears, fearing that you are going to have to protect whatever it is you have put out there. Maybe you are worried about whether you have the resilience, Taurus, the strength. With the Eight of Cups, this talks about fearing that journey, fearing that journey that takes us into our mind space, finding out what makes us truly happy, Taurus. Now this sits in your in your fears and you fearing that you are going to possibly lose your way in some way. Maybe not find the answer. Wow. With the Ace of Wands. This is an attraction, Taurus. This is the flow of creativity. This is a brand new beginning that you are going to have your focus on this ace of wands and the lovers are in some way attached. This is an inspiration that is able to move you, Taurus. Now in your hidden position is the page of wands. This is a young energy, Taurus. We could be talking about an enthusiastic youngster. We could be talking about this new creation taking you on an adventure, Taurus, something you're going to have to find your balance with. Now you, in your current environment, this page of cups is a deeper commitment. Now this could talk about a new love, Taurus, someone or something that you are focused on. We could be talking about a sensitive youngster. With the High Priestess, this is a new appreciation, Taurus. This is a new appreciation for whatever it is you receive through your intuition. With the High Priestess, we're talking about mystery. We're talking about the unknown. 
we're talking about delving into your intuition as part of your soul path, Taurus. Discovering a newfound love from within it. And here is that Ace of Swords, that new understanding with whatever it is you have in your mind space, whatever it is you are watching your ships come in on. You have a new understanding related to it, Taurus. Wow, and it's possibly from a different perspective, looking at protection, looking at being protected from a different perspective, regardless of who's doing the protecting. The end result is that whatever it is you have put out there is protected. Now in your current environment, we have the hanged man, Taurus. It tells me that there may be some kind of restriction. You may feel that you have lost your way in some way. With the Emperor Taurus, we are talking about the embodiment of all of the kings. This is taking a different look as the Emperor. This is taking that journey of the Eight of Cups, discovering what you are made of, Taurus. With the Emperor, we're talking about someone who uses the power of the intellect in order to shape the world and how we see it. This is someone who's confident. Something that was gleaned from a firm belief in oneself. Using the energy that allows you to move and change your world to affect change in your world. Now what you should know, Taurus is that this new project was born out of some kind of boredom. So when you feel as though nothing is working in your, in your favor, if you're feeling discontent, understand that it is the breathing ground of something brand new. It puts us in a mind space where we are able to discover new avenues that we could not have discovered otherwise. Now with the Four of Cups, we are talking about this brand new beginning in love. With the Six of Swords, finally being able to move to a calmer space in your mind. With the Six of Swords, this is your rite of passage, Taurus. Now what has brought you here? The Ten of Wands. Sitting with too much on your shoulder, Taurus, feeling as though you are feeling weighed down. But understand this was the training ground for where you are going. Understanding that you are able to accomplish multiple things at the same time. Manage multiple thoughts if, it, if need be. Discovering through that burden that you have a passion for something brand new. With the Seven of Cups, it brought in choices, Taurus. Choices that you were able to tap in with the High Priestess, being able to see past the illusion, the illusion of choice, Taurus, that we cannot, with faith and destiny, ever make the wrong decision. Choose wrong. With the Two of Pentacles, Balancing more than one energy, finding the balance with whatever it is you are creating, using your new understanding is what takes you forward, Taurus. With the Ten of Cups, wow, harmony, tranquility. This is happy home, happy family, being able to drink from each other's cup with a ten of cups we are talking about a divine love looking at your ten of cups 
from a different perspective altogether, Taurus. And the emperor sets off on a new journey with the fool into the rabbit hole, Taurus. It is into the rabbit hole that you go, not knowing where it is you are headed, knowing that you are going to come out on the other side with the six of cups as what you should know, Taurus. All of this, all of feeling weighed down, is a part of your soul journey. Now with the Six of Cups, we're talking about someone you might have known when you were younger, someone you might have known from a previous life. Something about your Six of Cups weighed you down in the past, begged you to make a choice, Taurus. We could be talking about generosity, Attached to your celebration, Taurus, and in your hidden position, the Five of Cups. Feeling disappointed in some way, Taurus. Now this is a sadness that's gleaned from expectation, because while you are sad about those three cups, look. Here is your Two of Cups. It's a true love. You see it as one, though. Now, in your outcome, Taurus, wow. This is that transformation. All of what bore you down in the past, weighed you down, made you feel as though you cannot take another step, is going through some kind of transformation. Now, this is a transformation that's going to affect both your mind space and your heart space. This is the end of a cycle, Taurus, that leads you directly to the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords could be a air sign in Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. This is the source of valuable advice. This is someone who's an innovator. This is someone who has choices Taurus, or may feel as though he has. Now, Taurus, if this is you in, in your outcome, this is you being able to use the power of your intellect. This is quartering whatever it is that's in your fear, sphere and marking it down. This is yielding your sword of truth. And the energy that balances you, Taurus, is the Four of Wands. We're talking about your foundations, a sense of belonging. This could be a very special soulmate connection, Taurus. This is the 1111 card in Tarot. This is the foundation that is going to be there to, be, to allow you to be able to balance more than one energy at the same time. Wow, with a Hierophant, not just happy home, happy family. We're talking about happy commitments. We're talking about a strong foundation in terms of your traditions, Taurus. Wow. And everything turns in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune. Being able to manifest it with whatever has come before, using the knowledge that you have gleaned in terms of what constitutes happiness, what con constitutes divine love, harmony. Using that information on your new beginning in order to turn things as though they turned in your favor with the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, we are talking about independence, we are talking about abundance, we are saying congratulations Taurus, you have made it. I hope you've enjoyed this tattle, until your next one.
Bye for now.